So I have what's known as absolute or perfect pitch. And so what that means is I'm able to name any musical note without the aid of a reference note. Um, so for example, if I just press a note um, at random on the piano, I'm able to tell you that's a G sharp or an A flat without any sort of external reference. Absolute pitch is traditionally thought of as a fixed category system, and I've always thought that it might be more malleable than that. Uh, one day when we were in the laboratory and we were at uh, a keyboard just like this uh, while Steve was playing, um, I played with the pitch wheel, unbeknownst to him, making the note flatter than it actually is. The keyboard actually started out perfectly in tune. However, over the course of the song, Shannon bent the pitch of the keyboard approximately 33 cents. 33 cents is approximately one third of the distance between any two adjacent keys on the piano. So if I play a C, and I play a B, the difference of 33 cents is approximately a third of the distance between these two notes. So the difference of this to about this. So since this occurred over the course of the song um, in a subtle manner, I wasn't able to pick up on this change. However, what this meant was when she abruptly shifted the pitch back to its original key, this sounded drastically sharp to me. And so this was very shocking and we decided to experimentally test this. The study that we published in Psychological Science uh, developed out of uh, Steve and Shannon's experience. In the study that we actually carried out, Steve took a piece of music and he slowly changed the tuning of that piece of music over time so that it became flatter and flatter. And that piece of music was then played to a group of students one at a time. And students heard the music get flatter and flatter, but it did so slightly that they weren't able to detect the changes. And then he held it at that flat position for about 20 minutes. And at the end, when they were tested on identifying the tuning of notes and the identity of notes, they showed a change in their absolute pitch so that now they heard the world as if it was 33 cents flat. This experiment it sort of tells us something about the plasticity and adaptability of the human mind, and that we are constantly changing to meet the circumstances around us. And that can tell us something about whether or not, um, for example, you can improve your pitch perception. And so we're starting to do studies that examine whether we could improve people's pitch perception as opposed to detuning it as in this study.